Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tags, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And in my dream garage, I have a 2010 Euro motorcycle. And today we're talking about the top five accessories that every Euro motorcycle needs. So let's jump right into it. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. And if you're a long time subscriber, always good to have your back. Right behind me is my dog named Bash, and he loves riding in the Euro sidecar. But before we jump into the video, I wanna talk about my August giveaway. If you haven't yet watched that video, be sure to check that video out. All you really need to do is comment on my videos this month, and I'll be choosing a winner from any one of my videos this month to win a $150 Omni Wall Power Tool setup. So, check out that video and be sure the more you comment, the more entries you get. A little less rigid of a video today, more of a vlog style me holding the camera. Let's see how you guys like it. But first on the list, well, technically there's six things on the list. But number one is not optional, and that's going to be a steering damper. You 100% need a steering damper. If you buy a Euro new, tell them that's exactly what you need before you pick the bike up. Now, if you're buying it used and they don't have a steering damper, that's probably why they're selling the bike. So be sure you get a steering damper. Next up on the list is going to be for safety, and that is upgrading your light to an LED light. Your headlight needs to be visible for the best safety at night. The good thing is this bike is a beast and most people can see it. But if you can see, I've actually updated this floodlight, the two fog lights, and the headlight to LEDs. That's definitely a must so you can be more visible. Now, the Ural has a five gallon gas tank, maybe five and a half gallon gas tank. And when you're going on the highway at about 70 miles an hour, that gets you about 90 kilometers, especially with me and my camping gear in there, which is about 60 miles or less, which is terrible. So what I did is I actually added an external gas tank. That is about, I think, uh, five gallons or, or four gallons extra gas. And what I have is I drain the main tank and when it hits reserve, I switch that little red toggle over there which turns on this tank and it refills up this tank. And then when it hits reserve again, I use the reserve and I know I need to get gas. So if you're gonna be doing road trips on this, you definitely want an auxiliary gas tank. Hi, Beshi. All right, third off on the list, we're going to be talking about a high mount exhaust. These are not cheap. They are about $1,600. But high mount exhaust, especially if you're gonna take this baby off-road, you definitely need it. The stock dual exhausts are super low. They're maybe about six inches, if not less, four inches off the ground there. So I opted for a two to one high mount exhaust, uh, and I'll leave a link below for that. Now, the Ural is a very old school bike. There's no gauges, no gas gauge, nothing really to help you monitor the health of your bike. So what I did do is I added the cylinder tamp gauges here. And the reason for that is I always can see it. I need a checkup, make sure there's enough airflow on the, the engine to keep it cool and make sure if I'm overheating, I actually know I'm overheating. So be sure to get your cylinder head temp gauge. So last but not least is going to be an extremely loud horn. All of my motorcycles have upgraded the horn. The last thing you need to be is invisible to cars. So I installed a loud horn on all my motorcycles. This one has to, this one in particular is loud. It's got a little air compressor and a horn and yes, it is great. So I would recommend this on all your motorcycles that way. You can uh, stand out when cars on the road. If someone's cutting you off, they can actually hear you. People got their music on, that little beep beep that comes with old bikes, no one can hear that. So guys, those are my top five slash six accessories you must have if you get a Euro. And the optional one is gonna be, make sure you have your dog and some doggles that go along with having a dog in the sidecar. He needs these goggles when we go anything above 50 miles an hour. That way he can keep his eyes open and he absolutely loves the sidecar. So guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. If you have any questions about the Euro, be sure to leave a, a comment below. 
But please like and subscribe if you like my content. And until next time, I'll see you then.